Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Panda, man. We're back. Stanley Cup playoff event is out and low-key, man. This event looks like looks like a pretty bad event, man. Uh, off the bat, I'm not a big fan of this event. We're going to break down the MSP cards. Now, there is four MSPs. We've got Dowdy, who always ends up getting MSP, man. It's kind of frustrating because it's like, it's like he always, you know, he always gets an MSP. So, um... You know, he always has an MSP. So it's like, I don't know. I feel like I wish it was a little bit different, but we'll check out Drew Doughty's card off the bat. I mean, again, he's got uh, some pretty decent stats on him. I mean, he's a 98 overall. So, of course, he's an elite. He's going to be like, come on, no 98 is going to be gonna be, gonna be trash, right? So it's not a, it's not the worst card, but at the same time, he's got distributor, fly the zone, and buzzing. So it comes with speed synergy, gets him up to 98 speed. Uh, those are synergies. Tape to tape, heat seeker, shut down, 1T, seeing eye, 98 acceleration, 99 agility, 99 balance, 99 endurance, 98 speed. Uh, he's got 98, 99, 98, 99 for his shooting stats. Hands is pretty good as well. He's got 99 deacon, 99 offense awareness, 98 hand eye, 99 passing. The NHL playoffs are starting soon, so you already know I'm going to have my bracket video coming out whenever the bracket challenge is open. Uh, not bad, but again, it's like, bro, he always gets an MSP. Next up, we got O'Reilly. Low key, bro, O'Reilly, he's hard. I don't go like, I mean, he comes with two speed synergies, which gets him up to a 97 speed. Shut down, unstoppable force, tape to tape, close quarters, no contest, 96 acceleration, 99 agility, 99 bounce, 99 endurance, 97 speed. Very good speed stats for him. Uh, the, always, the biggest problem with O'Reilly's car was he's never really had good speed. Uh, he's got maxed out shooting, maxed out hands, maxed out checking, and maxed out defense. Uh, he is a very good card. He's got maxed out everything except for his speed and his acceleration. Everything else is 99, so it's a perfect card, in my opinion, O'Reilly. And then last but not least, we've got Max Bacciaretti. Uh, wingman, gladiator, swipe, make it snappy, one T, and so forth. He's the same thing. He's got nine. And I still think Ryan O'Reilly is 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 the better card to build over Patrick easily. Uh, Patrick is not bad. He's got nine nine maxed out for shooting in hands, and uh, you know he's got nice speed. He's got nice acceleration. Um, you know he, he's not bad or anything, but at the same time, it's like I prefer the the um, the O'Reilly Patrick Wa. One of the greatest goaltenders that, I mean, this guy's a demon. Uh, X-ray, sponge, post, post, contrast, light work. Not bad. Y'all, he is a good goalie, man. He's OP. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's a good goalie. And, I don't know, in past NHLs, he was always fun to use. He was, like, one of the cheat codes back in, I think, NHL 19 or 18. I forgot. He was a cheat code, bro. Every person had him in net. It was annoying. But I think out of these four MSPs, O'Reilly may be the best one to build. Just because I think he's he's perfect as a centerman, he you know pretty much gets everything maxed out. Here are the other cards. I'm pretty sure these, how these cards work is um, I, I don't know if it's a series win or if it's a playoff game win, but they start off in 87, which I'm not a big fan how they start off in 87. I'm not gonna go in depth on these cards. I'll show you guys the synergies they have, and I'll show you guys the you know if you guys want to pause, you guys can pause. But a lot of these cards are so mid, bro. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Some of these cards may be good, but at the same time, they're just so male. Like, Zach Bogosian could be something decent if, if, if Tampa Bay goes back, uh, goes triple uh, with the 3P. But I'm, I don't know. I just feel like all these cards are just so mid. There's nothing spectacular about these cards. Like, I don't know. I just, this is kind of going to be like the last event before the summertime. You know, EA Hut's dying right now. This is kind of like the final big event in the game. Um, I feel like ever since Team of the, uh, you know, I feel like ever since Team of the, uh, team of the Season came out, the events have just been so bad. I, I know this is the second event since then. I think Hockey Idols was the last event. I don't know. It's just... I don't know about y'all. But I just think there's really nothing to kind of look forward to in the game. And it's going to be really hard for me to make content. I'm going to try to do a little bit more gameplay videos. Uh, with some you know challenges and stuff like that. But uh, it, it is hard because it's like... We're in the month. We're almost going into May. And uh, this is usually when the game starts to die, die down, unfortunately. Uh, you know, this is usually when the game... Does start to die down uh, Here's Ryan Murray again. If you guys want to go ahead you guys can pause the video I don't want to spend too much time on These the you know these cars just because I don't feel like there's you know nothing spectacular about them they're, they're, I mean maybe some of them could be good some of them do have decent speeds so like here's my boy Brandon sod I hate the St. Louis blue so hopefully they get knocked out the first round by Minnesota That's gonna be a good first round series boys. Uh, I'm telling you guys right now. That's gonna be 
a very good first round series. Minnesota, St. Louis. I think that series goes seven. Um, I think that series goes seven, to be honest. That's just what I think. That's a really good series. Hopefully, Minnesota can win. I'm really rooting for Minnesota, but I'm on the bandwagon. But uh, here it is. So basically, round one, it's a boost, two plus overall boost for every win in the first round. So these are the first round cards. So let's say Carolina wins two games. Uh, they get a plus four. So it's every win gets a two plus overall boost. That's actually not that bad, but I don't know. Where's these cards? Start off. So let's say like four, four plus four plus four times two is eight. So the max these cards, I don't know. I don't want to do my math. Would be a 95. The max one of these cards can get to is a 95, right? Or am I tripping? But it's a two plus overall boost. And then these are the MSPs available in packs. Again, more thing. These are getting different conferences. So we got you know the you know the, the Western Conference and stuff like that. Um, you got the other divisions, so different divisions and stuff like that. So those are those cards. I will show you guys the packs real quick. Um, you know MSP Premium Pack Round One. So you basically get 35 collectibles, guaranteed MSP Booster Pack, you get guaranteed MSP uh, Sun Cup Starter Pack, Power Up Collectible, Vent Collectible. So these are the packs. Uh, nothing too good. The ultimate pack is in pack. So if this video does get a decent amount of likes, let's go for 50 likes, 40 likes. I will try to open up two of these ultimate choice packs. But that's pretty much going to kind of wrap up the video. I'll show you guys the sets again. I mean, I don't really feel like I need to show you guys the sets because, again, the sets are always, you know, they're always kind of the same. So, um, like here are, again, the collectible sets. They're always practically the same. So, again, you got the event collectibles right here, you know. You know, you get 10 collectibles if you trade a uh, 92 plus overall. So, again, collectibles work the exact same as they did in the past. So, there's nothing really to, for me to break down there. But, again, drop a like, subscribe, man. Turn the notification bell. We're going to have more videos. Hopefully, my creative uh, process here gets better because, again, it's very difficult to make content when the game's dying out. If you guys have any video ideas, let me know in the comment section below.